Alright folks, Technivorous here. Today we're back with another Cure question. And this one is a pretty good question. So this is from Sean Becker. And Sean wants to know, great video, you earned a subscription, but I have a question regarding profiles versus material profiles. I only have the default profiles for my Ender 3 Pro, but I'm using and testing filaments. If I find, for example, that a specific filament likes 210 over 60 versus the default 200 over 60, do I create a custom material for that? Or do I create a custom profile, or both? I've been creating custom materials, however the temperature settings in those materials don't seem to be changing my temps in the profile for me, nor exporting those custom temps into the G-code. What he's saying here is that <clears throat> he's created custom filaments in the material menu in here, okay? And then when he selects one of those materials, it's not altering his temperature settings. So let's just try something real quick. Let's create, um, what's the temperature at here? Material temperature is 220. Keep changes, custom material. It's going to take a second. Um, so basically, when he changes materials, he wants it to override the settings in the profile, if I'm understanding this correctly. So um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, the easiest way to do this is to actually just create a separate profile for the individual material. The materials menu is a great idea, but honestly, it is kind of a, a, a double-edged sword because um, you can adjust a setting and then adjust your filament and have it not adjust the setting correctly, or vice versa. So um, the problem that you're having is a pretty common problem. It's one of the reasons that I generally just don't mess with these material settings at all. And I do have videos where I will show you how to create them, and we can do whatever we need to do. Um, you can see I have, uh, uh, this is the custom material I'm using right now. Let's select generic PVA, and look at the print settings. Okay, so um, default printing temperature 215. Down here on my custom material, default printing temperature 200. Okay, so right now we have, let's go back to the PVA. We'll, we'll select the PVA, close that. And right now we're using the custom material. Let's go back. Okay. Um, now right here is, is where it's questioning and this is what kind of confuses some people so it's asking you if you want to keep the changes or discard the changes so now if we go down there we go um, and look at material the temperature for the first material uh, uh, profile was 210 the current changes is 220 so this is printing at a higher temperature so let's go ahead and click keep changes okay now if I go in here and I look at the temperature, it's in here somewhere, material, um, it, it did stay at 220, okay? So let's go back and try that again. Let's change the material. This time we're going to go to the uh, custom PLA that we picked, okay? And it's telling us uh, the uh, current changes are 220, but the profile that was used for that's recommended for this is saying to go to 220, or excuse me, to go to 200. So um, if I keep the changes, it's going to set my filament to 220 here. So I can go ahead and click discard changes, and it should set the temperature to the filament temperature for me, and it does. But unfortunately, it's also changing all those other things. Did you see that? So let's go back to the PVA and then it'll do it again. So um, it set the, the printing temperature for the PVA. Okay. Um, let's try a different one just to kind of prove the point here. PLA. Pro PLA. Okay. Printing temperature 240. Okay, so it does work. You just need to remember to tell it to discard those changes. But the thing is, with all of those settings that is changing, um, you, you're going to want to go back through here after reloading a uh, different filament to run a different job and make sure, for instance, that you have 
the support checked on this profile if you need support for this model. Um, at, after changing the filament, always check your settings. And because you have to do that, that's one of the reasons why I just I say just make profiles for everything, honestly. Um, if you have settings that work particularly well for a particular plastic, make a profile for that plastic, and then you don't have to worry about changing the filaments. You can just leave it on. I mean, I use this for color reasons, honestly, because um, a lot of them are different colors. Uh, and I mean, again, you can easily go in and just change the color. We've gone over that in a different video, a Cure Questions video. Um, you can just change it right here. But anyway, yeah, th that's that's my advice. I would honestly, I would just uh, stick with profiles, the the material profile, or excuse me, the print profile. Um, you can add as many as you want. See, I have several custom profiles here, and you just manage profile and duplicate or import. If you duplicate, let's say. And this is why I have so many of these. Uh, if I hit duplicate, I can rename it. Uh, let's say this is my PVA on my Ender 3. Um, so then I can go into that profile and I can close this, um, select that, and then in here I can set the settings to be exactly what I want. So I think that's a little bit better for what you're trying to do. Um, like I said, it's, it's odd to me that the material settings are even in there because all it's really used for is to change the color, you know. Um, it, it, it can change your settings, but oftentimes people hit the wrong button and it's just confusing and then you end up messing up a print. Coming back and double checking your settings anyway, and I mean, it just kind of defeats your own purpose. So yeah, just stick with the uh, uh, profiles here. You can get this list quite long actually before it starts to be a problem. So. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. If it was helpful, leave a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you have a question, leave it in the comments. I love answering Kira questions, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Take care of yourself.